Now, I'll warn you ahead of time that when we start getting to these algorithms, things are going to get kind of thick. You know, they're, they're logical things. There's lots of, they're, they're, they're logical processes. They can be very complex. I've tried to boil them down to as simple as possible, but you're really going to have to sit and scratch your head in order to do what I did, which was take this paragraph, which is pretty easy to understand and get a picture of, and boil it down to the mechanical actions that the computers take, and specifically the client, the server, and the data layer, right? And, the, and, and so we'll, 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 we'll work through these in turn, but I want you to get prepared that we're going deep now and we're going pretty technical. And this is, this is pretty much as technical as this class ever gets, but it is, you know, for some of you, it's going to be more technical than you've, you've needed to go before. Okay, high level process. You log in, right? You went to that login server. You download patches, we talked about that. You materialize somewhere in the world. You move around, you fight, you collect stuff and your display changes, your, your world changes, your little animation, your, your characters change, um, showing the effect of these actions, as well as the actions of other players, right? That's, what it, that's the high level experience. That's exactly what's happening at the highest level. Log in, download, materialize, move around, fight, collect up stuff, and your display, your, your readout, your user experience updates to show the results of all of those actions, okay? Pretty simple. And that, that describes, that, at, that, at that level, we've described almost every, you know, game of, of, of this ilk. All right, but now let's get down to the details. So this is the algorithm, and you'll see that there's a little bit more to dig into. There's a little bit more to chew on in this algorithm than there was simply in the text description. But this is what's happening. So notice the key. We have the player's machine, right? That's the, the, the fat client on the player's machine. We have the login server, we have the game server, and we have the data server. So we have, um, the, we have the, the presentation tier, that's the player machine, the processing tier, that's the login server and the game server, and we have the data tier, which is in the data server, okay? All right, so on the player's machine, we log in. That's happening from the fat client. The fat client communicates to what? The login server. And the login server validates you, and in order to validate you, it has to make a round trip into the green thing, which is the data server. So it goes into the database, pulls out your account information, um, and that validates you. Maybe, you. maybe your password didn't match and you never get past that stage, but your password does match. It sends patches. Um, yeah, it, send, it, it determines what patches you need, sorry, instead of sending packages, patches, and then it redirects you to the game server. One thing I left out here is there should probably be a line back from patches back to the, the, the client computer, back to your machine that says we've downloaded the patches, right? So I left out a line there. So you can imagine a line from patch back to your computer that says download the patches. So we validate you, we download the patches, we redirect. And what do we redirect to? We redirect to the blue game server. What does the blue game server do? It updates the client. The client is the player's machine. And it updates the player, like what your current status is, the map, and whatever other objects are around on the ground. And in order to figure that out, it too has to make a round trip. It has to make a query. It asks a question of the database, gets back data about you, sends all that data back to your computer, and your computer updates its display, it updates the character, it updates the world that you know where you are on the map, etc. It updates all those objects, and now you're ready to go. Okay, so can you see this process? This is kind of the startup process. First we go to the data first we go to the login server, which is going to the database. Then it redirects us, that means it, it, it passes us along to the, um, the game server, and the game server also goes to the database to get data about you, and it updates your client machine to say, okay, when you materialize, here's where you're going to materialize, here's all the items that you own, here's what's happened since you were gone, other people are moving around, etc., etc. Okay, and then, and this is a big then, you do stuff, <laughs> right? You move around, you fight, you collect items, you trade with people, you communicate with them, etc., etc., and as you do that, it updates the server. So it communicates back to the server. And now the server also is saying, well, you did that, but a bunch of other people are doing that as well. And it updates you. So this little loop here, can you see a loop there? The arrow going from the machine, from the um, game server to your computer, the client machine, the fat client, to back around, round and around and around as you do stuff and as other people do stuff. As other people do stuff, they're also updating the server. And so the server turns around and updates you. Okay, and so in this little box here, you have a little quote. It's not uncommon for the client and server to, uh, for the server, uh, for the client to give its position, its updates to the server 10 times a second. 
So that's how fast this, this loop is going. It's going round and round and round. You're communicating to the client, or you're communicating to the service, service communicating to your client, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth really quickly. The more quickly it can communicate, the more seamless all of that interaction is going to be, right? You, you press the forward button and you want to move forward immediately. Now that pretty much happens only on your local system, which we'll see in a moment, but how about people moving towards you? Is that guy move, heading straight for you or is he going to turn before he gets to you? That's all dependent on how fast his computer is updating the server and how fast the server is updating your computer. Okay, get the idea? That's the high level play algorithm. I log in, I get passed on to the, um, I get passed on to the game server and then I go into this loop. This is called a loop, round and round and round. I go into this loop of, I update the server from stuff that I do on my local computer. The server updates me from stuff that um, happened on other people's local computers, as well as what was the impact of something I did. For example, I fight a creature, a, a, a mob, I fight a, you know, a bad guy, and the, um, and the server calculates what the, what the effect of that is, transmits it back to my computer so that I can update where, what my current status is. Okay, that's a high-level algorithm. 